Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to solve a simple example using the properties of dot product. In this example, let us say we have three vectors given to us. Vector u has components 1, 2. Vector v has components 3, 4. And vector w has components 5, 6. I have taken a simple example to illustrate the point. And then in here, we want to find the following things. We want to find 1. Vector u dot vector v. We want to find that. Second one. We want to know vector u dot vector v plus vector w is equal to vector u dot vector v plus vector u dot vector w. We'll prove, we'll solve the left hand side, then we'll solve the right hand side and see whether those two values come out the same. The third one we want to find is 5 times vector u times vector v or vector u dot vector v and then we also want to find vector v raised to the power of 2. We want to see all of these uh, the, these uh, results. So let's start with the first example. We want to find vector u dot vector v. That is going to be 1 comma 2 that is the components of vector u dot 3 comma 4 that is the components of vector vector v so therefore 1 times 3 plus 2 times 4 and when we simplify this this is going to be 3 plus 2 times 4 is 8 therefore the value is going to be equal to 11 the value is going to be equal to uh, 11. The second example we have is we want to prove that vector u dot vector v plus vector w is the same as vector u dot vector v plus vector u dot vector w. So to, to prove that, let's do this. u, vector u is 1, comma 2, dot, and the addition of v, vector v plus vector w, vector v is 3, comma 4, and then plus vector w is 5, comma 6. We'll simplify that in a minute. And that should be equal to vector u is 1 comma 2 dot vector v is 3 comma 4 3 comma 4 plus vector u is 1 comma 2 time dot and vector w is 5 comma 6 let's simplify this on the left hand side we have 1 comma 2 times dot 3 times 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 3 plus 5 is 8, comma, 4 plus 6 is 10. So we'll simplify that. And on the right hand side, well, when we multiply them out, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 times 4 is 8. And then the other side we have 1 times 5 is 5 plus 2 times 6 is 12. So when we do the uh, dot product on the left hand side, this is going to be 1 times 8 is 8 plus 2 times 10 is 20 is equal to 3 plus 8 plus 5 plus 12. That's going to be 25, 28. This is going to be equal to 28. So therefore, the value what we have on the left hand side which is 28 is equal to the value what we have on the right hand side and therefore uh, vector u dot 
uh, vector v plus w is equal to vector u dot vector v plus vector u dot vector w. That is exactly the same. We have proved that here. The third example, what we wanted to solve here was 5 times vector u dot vector v. How do we do that? We're going to take 5 times the dot, dot product of vector u and vector v. 1 comma 2 dot 3 comma 4. And the way to do this one is as follows. 5 times 1 times 3 is 3 and then plus 2 times 4 is 8. Therefore, there's going to be 5 times 11, which is going to be equal to 55, which is going to be equal to 55. And this is our answer. And the fourth example we have here is, he's asking us to, to solve vector v raised to the power of 2. That is the length of the vector. Uh, we want to find the length of the vector and then raise it to the power of 2. The way to do that is as follows, isn't it? Vector v dot vector v. We take the same vector and then multiply by itself. Vector v is 3 comma 4 dot 3 comma 4. So when we do that, this is going to be 3 times 3 is 9 plus 4 times 4 is 16. So 9 plus 16 is 25. 9 plus 16 is 25 and therefore that is our answer. So we have proved all of these different uh, questions related to, related to these vectors using the properties of dot product. In my next presentation we should look at some more examples to see how we can solve some simple example problems.